Welcome to IDA Annotate Review. Ensuring your drawing documentation is clear and legible is important in avoiding time, potential liability issues and rework. The Review tab on IDA Annotate allows you to check a number of different conditions, including zero length dimensions. Dimension strings can result in a zero value when the hosted element gets moved after dimension is created. Annotation clashes. An annotation clash is defined as an overlap with the bounding box of two annotation elements. Some annotative elements are ignored during annotation clash, either because the results would not be helped or because there is a programmatic challenge to getting accurate results. Here are just some of the elements that are clashed. Blank tags question marks. Blank tags are annoying because they show a question mark and the parameter value is empty, this condition can result in a need to republish the documentation. Use the review tab to find and manage these conditions. Elevation marks with no elevation. When an elevation mark is first manually placed, it will have one of the four directional check boxes selected. Later, if all the elevations referenced by the mark are deleted, the elevation mark itself will remain. Hidden by element. In Revit, you can select any element and right click to hide in view. All additive elements that have been treated this well will display under the hidden by element issue in IDEO Annotate, except in cases where the view is a parent child view. Additive elements that have been hidden with this method will be displayed instead under the other not visible issue type. Other not visible. The purpose of having two different issue types that relate to annotation visibility is to make the important distinction between elements that are intentionally set to be invisible, hidden by element and the many other invisibility conditions that are possibly unintentional. The latter are identified as other not visible. Orphaned tags. Elements and tags can become orphaned when, in the host project, you added an element that was hosted by an element in a linked model. The linked element was later moved or deleted. Or in a host view, you added a tag to an element in a linked model. The linked element was later deleted from the linked model. The result is a tag with a question mark, and when the keynote tag becomes orphaned, the result is that the values remain but can no longer be valid. In both cases, these represent a liability in your production information. Unexpected keynote. Keynotes that are not referenced in the project keynote file can still exist in the project. The result is that the values remain but could no longer be valid. This can represent a liability in your production documents. You should either reassociate or delete the unreferenced tags to maintain a clean project duplicate tags. Elements can be inadvertently tagged more than once, taking up valuable white space and resulting in messy documentation. Here are a few examples of the idea annotate tool in action. Here I'm highlighting a clash between a tag and some text. I can also find clashes between dimensions and text. We can identify blank tags and either delete the tag or fill in the missing information. I can also dismiss issues that are not important, such as an elevation mark with no elevation. In this example, I can use the IDEA X-ray tool to determine why this window tag is not visible. Avoid messy, confusing and illegible drawings and speed up your quality assurance reviews by using IDA Annotate. For more information on all our Revit-based applications, including trial downloads, software updates, product help and blog posts, be sure to visit our website at www.idhsoftware.com. Additionally, be sure to follow us on our social media channels as we continue to publish helpful information on our product.